In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the pan and zoom tool and transition effects on photos in Windows Live Movie Maker. First of all, add photos to the storyboard by clicking on the Add Photos and Videos button, navigating through folders, and selecting the photos you want in the clip. Once they are on the storyboard, click on the Play button to get their preview. The presentation of these videos is quite simple so far. Each photo appears one by one with no special effects. In the Animations tab, locate the Transitions section. Here, click on any style and apply it on the selected clip. You can assign a separate transition effect for each separate photo or clip in the timeline. Another option is to use the Zoom and Pan effect. This option applies the transition while zooming into a specific portion of the next clip. Click on the Zoom In Center option in the Zoom and Pan effect, and it will slowly zoom in towards the center of the image. You can set the time duration of both the transitions being applied and the Zoom and Pan effect by simply clicking on the arrow next to the Duration option. On the right, adjacent to both the Transition and the Zoom and Pan option, you will find a button named Apply to All. Click this option if you want to apply the Zoom and Pan or Transition effect to all of the clips or photos in the timeline. 